recently, Benzino, like I remember when BTV he said ha- something about Michael Jackson. He, well, saying BTV, he's happy he well, him. Benzino says Michael. something about me also because because after the BTV Savage situation, he goes, "Oh, the curse of flat TV." I'm never going back and do that interview. Yeah, I did again, see that. Yeah, Benzino's been banned from Vlad TV a year ago because he threatened one of my female employees. Well, why, so, would he, why would he do that? Because he wasn't getting his payment fast enough. So he started to threaten my payment person. Oh, man, that's which, which is ridiculous. Yeah. Like, honestly, it's, a, it's like everyone gets paid. Everyone's always gotten paid. He ended up getting paid. But it was like he started threatening my female employee who was in charge of payments because he wasn't getting his money fast enough. So we had, had to make a company decision not to have Benzino on anymore. So him saying, I'll never do Vlad TV anymore. He's not invited to do Vlad TV anymore. Yeah. So let me I don't just know why Benzino's there. still talking about, 20 years later, still talking about him. It's like ridiculous. Like sometimes I look at this stuff like it's so old, man. Like I got the stories, but I just tell the story so the people will know. You know what I'm saying? So I always have my side of the story out there because mm-hmm. I'm not no bitch. I'm not going to sit there and let you tell your story or your narrative, false narrative about me or anybody in my team. I'm going to tell you the truth. Yeah. So my whole thing with Benzino is like, you've been factuated with him since the Source magazine. Because you, because I, maybe I think in his eyes he felt like Eminem and 50 and us took down the Source magazine in a way when Double XL came. And like you wasn't getting the big interviews from Fifty. Uh, I mean, listen, I, it's a lot. It's a lot I, too. I, I interviewed Dave politics. Mays, and the Source magazine went down because of the, the decisions that Dave and Benzino made. The reason why Source magazine went down was because they took out this huge line, like they, they took out this huge investment for millions of dollars, which they ended up using to build Source Digital. And they spent millions of dollars building a damn website that no one went to. And they lost all that money. And once they lost all the money, they basically put up the source name as collateral. So the company went to bankruptcy. And then Londell McMillan ended up buying it for pennies on the dollar. And then he, you know, took it into the toilet as well. But what I'm saying is you can't blame G-Unit, Eminem, Interscope for the fall well, of the all source. That, they all fucked that, it up themselves. Look, when all that shit happened, well, we was in the middle of the beef right there. When all that right. shit, when the source was fucking up, it looked like mm-hmm. we destroyed the source. Yeah. In my eyes. Right. That's what it looked like. Right. You know, because Ben Zeno, the nail in the coffin, was the nail in the coffin. But he's still talking about Eminem. Like, it is no, what it is, man. And no disrespect to Ben Zeno, because I don't do the internet shit. I know he might fuck yeah, yo and all that. <laughs> Whatever. I don't care. We ran down on Benzino before. He Miami. wouldn't respond to that, but we weren't interviewing him anymore. So I was like, nah, we're good. Yeah. What? To me? Well, about what you said about running down on him. He had reached out. So I want to respond to Yayo. So go ahead. Do it yourself. You're well, not going to do it on flat did, Well, it's the truth. We ran down to Miami. We asked him he was going to give him the pass. He said he was going to give him the pass. Cool. I was on my bully shit back then. Now I'm chilling. I'm not going to go back and forth. I'm not with the internet shit because that's how people get shot, got killed. I'm not with none of that back and forth internet shit. I'm just telling you facts, no fiction. Mm -hmm. That's it. It was a war. Am I mad at Benzino now? No. Nobody's mad. That was 20 years ago. I don't want to do nothing to you. Hopefully you don't want to do nothing to me. As well as all the niggas that talk shit that was used to be down, not down with us, like... I don't give a fuck. That was 20 years ago. If you're harboring some shit from 20 to 15 years ago, then you must be out your fucking mind, bro. Because when I wake up in the morning, I'm not thinking about none of these people.